morning everybody how's everybody doing today uh, beautiful morning a little bit cloudy this morning but a uh, decent morning said it's gonna rain today we need uh, desperate need of rain it's been two months now of beautiful weather but we're getting dry I got dry patches on my lawn that I usually don't have until August so it's calling for 15 or 20 millimeters of rain today so it would be greatly appreciated uh, if we get some rain and I suppose call for a little bit of wet all week uh, I haven't posted up a video in a long time and for I know some people who watch my site uh, are into apples and that sort of thing so I thought I should do an orchard update since I probably haven't done one since last year uh, this here is, I was out this morning walking around and I thought I should do a video. This here is uh, white clover seed and I probably should have put the white clover out earlier in the spring but it's calling for rainy weather for the next week, week and a half so I thought it would be a good time to get the clover, the rain to wa help wash the clover seed down into the ground uh, and I like to encourage white clover growing around. I got quite a bit of white clover growing on the property. The bees love it. It's good for the orchard. Uh, you don't have to mow it so much. And this here's the espalier. If you see the espalier perro, uh, they're really coming on good this year. I'm gonna have to in August I think do a little bed grafting. There's a few spots where I'm missing limbs where they should be. If you see down there on the bottom, I should have a limb coming out from the right. So I think I'll put, I'll try a, a little bud grafting. But growth has been really great. The top, once this here top matures out, you can see the tips are a little green right now. But as that top matures out, I'll tie those two both down to the top wire here and that'll make my two top rows. I was quite pleased with how the pears grow. Uh, they should start I'm assuming I see a few blossoms next year. Now, if I do get blossoms on, I won't leave them crop a heavy crop of pears, but next year will be the third summer growing. Uh, so I'll leave a few pears on to them. Well, that would be exciting. It'll be the, since I started planting the orchard, it'll be the first fruit. Now, don't count your chickens before they hatch, but. Uh, I'm hoping to see blossoms on them next year. This here's a little bit of a side note, but on one of my videos not too long ago, I planted potatoes in this hay, and I see potatoes starting to come up through in a few different places. So that's fun. I don't know, I'll do a video on that later. I don't know how many potatoes I'll end up getting, but uh, I put 15 pounds of seed in, and harvest time, I'll gather up the potatoes and I will weigh them and I'll see what kind of a harvest I get out of it. Pear trees are doing really nice. Uh, some of them I cut off a little shorter to try to get my four rows. If you see I got two good limbs there, two on the ne next wire. This here is growing up in a way nice and I'll have two limbs that I'll bend down and tie off to these wires. This is probably my worst one out of the bunch. I have a nice limb on the bottom, a good center section and a good top row, uh, but on the second wire up there's nothing and it didn't look like anything was going to come. Now I did try taking my knife and scoring a little mark above the buds uh, before, oh quite a little, I took a little notch actually right out of the bud to try to encourage a limb to grow, but uh, oh a few leaves grew out but nothing grew. The garden is coming along decent. I pretty much get everything coming up in the garden that I planted, uh, but desperate need of rain. Desperate need of rain. Oh, bit of a side note, there's a 10 minute scarecrow. Uh, had excellent strawberries on, the starlings and the crows get in the strawberries, and if I get 10 strawberries out of that patch, I'm gonna be lucky. Uh, it was a titch bit disappointing. 
The garlic is doing great. It's just starting to sh put up escapes, but on the opposite side, I see some starting to wilt, and the tops are browning off a little quicker than I like, and I think that's all due to the dry weather. Now, down to the point that I was doing this video, this here's the orchard starting. I got some good growth on. Uh, these were all bench grafts last year. Some successes and some failures, but overall I'm quite pleased. Uh, and I think with any venture that you start, if you expect 100% from the beginning, you have a little unreal expectations. Uh, but you can see there's some good growth. They're coming up. Oh, on average, they're about hip height, uh, between knee height and hip height, so 24 to 30 inches. And now these are limbing out quite heavy on to the bottom and they're quite low down, but I really just wanted to get growth on this year uh, and get the root system out and established. I haven't pruned much at them or anything like that. You might see where I maybe widened the limb out a little bit or something but I really haven't been doing too much to them as far as uh, that almost looks like a little damage in there on that one but I guess it's growing well oh, what did I have for failures it's good to show successes this here is one bench crafted last year I swore it died and this came out this spring so as for the second year growing, I wouldn't call that a great success. Uh, I really only lost... What did I lose? I lost this one here. Uh, this bench graft died. So, this here is a crimson beauty and the bench graft died. But these limbs are growing away. And in August, I'll bud graft the same crimson beauty back into that one. So pretty good luck, all in all. Uh, I have two here that are still the rootstock that I was going to put extra varieties in that I couldn't quite find at the time. But I think what I've decided to do, I have 20 some varieties in the orchard, and I think what I'm going to do is take a few of the varieties that I know I like and just double up on a couple just to give me a few more apples of that same variety. Now these were some bud grafts that I did last year and uh, quite pleased. You can see there's a bud graft to put in here. I put two bud grafts in that rootstock, cut the top off in the spring and oh what probably 12 inches of growth on there so far. Uh, so I'm quite pleased with that. In next spring whichever one of those bud grafts do the best I'll trim the other one away and I had one I had one over in the corner that died uh, I think that was a prima but I have some root stalks that I'm starting in the garden and I'll start a little tree away for a year or two and then come back down and plant in that corner now that's a bit of a wet corner not now because it's been dry but normally a bit of a wet corner so what I think I'm going to do is bring some ground in there and mound the ground up a little bit and it may help them a little bit better for the roots a uh, bit of aphids in the crab apple that crab apple I don't know what it is somebody gave it to me years ago that thing must be seven years old and it hasn't been doing nothing yet it's infested with aphids and skib and every other disease known to a to a crab apple and I think it's just a poor poor variety crab apple I think I'll start something else and probably pull that out and throw it away start something in there that will grow a little better I've been using a little bit of sulfur for scab control on the trees and that's about it haven't done much else now before this gets too long-winded a little shot of the, shot of the garlic uh, you can see it's starting to dry off on the tops a little fantastic garlic there's a scape starting to send its way up I'm gonna try there's another one making the classic pigtail um, but I'm gonna try uh, harvesting some dehydrating 
and then grind them into a powder. I think it was Dale that mentioned about dried garlic scapes. And I'm going to try that uh, as a homemade garlic powder. I think that'd be a great idea. That's one of the beauties of YouTube. Anyway, this is getting long-winded. Everybody have a great morning. I gotta spread some clover seed and head to work.